Uh, oh God, you have pumped that Red Bull down to your veins. It's 4.23 a.m. You love zombies. This is my boyfriend. Hello. This video is gonna be backwards. We're starting here, which means technically, I think it's montage time? It's montage time. Montage time. to introduce you guys to my boyfriend and we're gonna do a QA and a that's it's, we're gonna do kind of like a mix of a Q&A and strip poker minus the poker and minus stripping clothes instead we're gonna strip his face until you get to his real face so I asked you guys on Instagram at Mikey M-Y-K-I-E what you wanted to know about my boyfriend what did they want to know they asked some questions <laughs> you're gonna have to answer them okay <laughs> Let's do it. Just don't skip to the end. Don't be that person. If you do, you like those people that read the last page of a book as soon as you get it. Yeah, I don't want to be friends with that person. We're not going to be friends with you. <laughs> By the way, this look I have deemed the punk dinosaur. <laughs> Truth be told, we were not going for that when no, we started this look. very different look initially. <laughs> but that's how it turned out. You guys always ask me, too, to show you what it's like to take off these things. Yeah. And I have a video all about how to safely remove prosthetics where you can see me rip off a bunch in the wrong way. <laughs> However, we are going to remove this the right way today. I have every kind of remover you could possibly imagine. Are we in focus? Oh, I never got us in focus. Hold on. Oh, you no. sit there. You keep being cute. Hey, sorry if that whole intro is out of focus. My bad. You don't look like yourself. There. You don't sound like yourself. Yeah. It's freaking Are cute. there any traits that remain the same? Someone's first comment that I got on Instagram was, show his face right away, I know you. I know you? What are they trying to imply? They, they know you They won't? know that I would do this. Oh. So, I just, oh. I just wanted to say shout out to you. Someone else said, you can't call Spencer your boyfriend just because he's a boy. Hint number one, <laughs> I am not Spencer at all. Hint number two, guys, Spencer is into men. Just so you know. <laughs> but a lot of you assumed that Spencer was actually my boyfriend. Yes. Um, I think Spencer will be okay with me saying that. I'll check with him first, so if it's in the video, you know it's okay. Spencer's in the men. <laughs> and hot dogs. <laughs> Same thing sometimes. Okay, All right. I'll, I'll ask if that's okay with him too. <laughs> Is he really your boyfriend or just a friend that's a boy? Really a boyfriend, yes. Is this, oh, thank you for Here telling you me. Yes, it's a little out there. The worst part is I couldn't even feel that. It just felt like you were just kissing. A, it felt like I went to the dentist and I was numb. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel it. Uh, and that. <gasps> yeah, you took some off with your fingertips. Okay. All right, we started taking off some makeup. I don't know why I just gravitated toward this vain voice. That's your real voice. I mean. No one has to know. Yes. I don't have any brushes to take this off of you. That's funny. Oh, that's great. It's a great time to figure it out. Should we postmate some brush? I postmated a Red Bull at 4 a.m. And? So that we could get this done. And I had to also postmate <laughs> something else to get free delivery. So I ordered two deodorants. <laughs> Next question. Did you meet on Tinder? No. No! I think that just eliminated most of people's guesses. It's Look. not Spencer, and it's not anyone from Tinder. So who could it be? There's still some other guesses for people that have made common appearances on your channel. I can't tell you yet whether or not that is correct or not. Ooh. Will we get there? <gasps> Are you cut? <laughs> Did you cut? What did you cut? Just a little bit of hair. Oh, no! <laughs> Hold on. Let me stick it back in. Do you ever look at him and smile because he's just that dang cute? Yes. Oh. Oh. I always look at you and smile. I'm being, I'm being serious too. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a bitch to take off. Yeah, well, that's it's a good. A it's a good thing you have a lot of questions, right? I don't have that many. How many do you have? Like maybe like 15. <laughs> I need to start ripping off Ducky. Oh, it stuck to my forehead so well. Is it? You're so sealed. Look at this. You're like 360 <laughs> degrees sealed in here. I'm trapped. 
Three hundred. Where does it end? It where does it begin end. and end? There I don't even no. know where to start. I thought I could start here, and then I was cutting your hair, so that doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, but you put the fin on last, so you should be able to take it off first. That's what I'm trying to do. How'd you get it so airtight? I don't know. We've made entry. Yes, to my real skin. Spoilers. He's playing his wife. No one's surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Even. I've seen my ancestry report. I'm not exactly white. Not quite white. But I look white according to the technical appearance. <laughs> my ancestors were colonists. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Is your boyfriend as weird as you or weirder? What do you think? Can I answer that? Yeah, go for it. I'd say we're just about the same level. You think? I think so. Do you think? What, what, you think that you're weirder? No, you know what? What? I don't feel like you're weirder now. I've done many weird things in my past. That's all we will say. Mm-hmm. I do weird stuff now. Think about it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do some weird stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. weird. Oh, I'm a self-proclaimed weirdo. You're weird, honey. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want to reveal your hair. I just want to right. take this off. I'm just going to cut off the thing. This is not the way to remove stuff, no, by the way. No. But for the sake of the, um, what we're doing. What? What's the point? I don't know. <laughs> so that you look like we're accomplishing something. No, I just look bald. <laughs> you, look, you look like a zombie with like a gash in your head. It's kind of cool, actually. And this is cool, too. For what? A tail. This one's a really important question that I got. And your answer is extremely crucial to the, oh the future success of our whole relationship. Really? Yes. Does he know all the words to Careless Whisper? Oh, God. I literally could not tell you the first word to the song. <laughs> I know George Michael sings it. That's good enough. I'm yeah. having a hard time doing this without revealing too much because yeah. I really want to get all the juicy bits down to the other questions. Right, right, right. And then it's just gonna happen, you know, like pretty fast. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about me that I don't show on camera? That's what about some, you. Somebody asked that. I think. Does that hurt? <laughs> you're extremely empathetic and caring. I don't show that on camera. Not necessarily. <laughs> charismatic. And I'm you, not charismatic. No, on you camera. do, but it's like real. You know, some people show something on camera. And it's I include you. this shit on good. You, yeah, I'm you sorry. Did. Yeah, you really didn't want me to escape this hell. Mm. I'd say you're extremely supportive and encouraging. I don't think that people really get to see that on camera and just see how good of a. Because you don't just do it with me, but you do it with everyone. So you're an extremely good friend. You, you think don't, that? Yeah. Huh. You don't feel like you're a good friend? Mm -hmm. You're super supportive. I forget to text everyone back. That doesn't mean that you're not a good friend. It just means that you have other stuff going on or whatever. There's many reasons why you don't text back. Mainly it's that I, I read it half asleep and then I forget <laughs> I ever read it. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Does Ripley like him? Should we get her up here? Should we communicate with her like she communicates with us? Sure. I found out that she loves apples, apparently, <laughs> and she hasn't left me alone since I found that out. Do you want apple? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Wait, we should be quiet so we sit ASMR. Oh, ASMR, Ripley eating apples. I'd say Ripley likes him, yeah. So I think that answers that question. On a serious note, what's something that each of you do that inspires the other? Ooh. Mm. I couldn't talk in my real voice. Not yet. <laughs> your commitment to bettering yourself. You haven't trapped yourself in any of your ways. You always allow yourself to make changes in your life that you see as improvement. And I've seen you do that with almost every part of your life. Not just leading up to us officially being together, but even since I've really gotten close to you. You are, I think, the kindest person I've ever met in my entire life, and... Really? Yeah. The kindest? Mm-hmm. You are the most emotionally intelligent person I've ever met. Don't make that face. <laughs> I've never been told something like that before. Well, you are. Thank and you. Uh, you inspire me to be more forgiving, Aww. more patient, more kind, more caring. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. 
Did that hurt your eyebrow? It, it's still uh, there. It hurts a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Favorite way to spend time together. So my favorite way to spend time together is actually doing all the mundane stuff with you. What kind of mundane stuff? All of the ways that couples usually get in ruts yeah. are my favorite times with you uh -oh. because they're not boring. <laughs> they're so fun. I remember I was really nervous about taking you back to my hometown because I thought that you'd be bored. Bored? But yeah. But you told me that you could be anywhere with me. You could be locked in an empty room with me and you would have fun for days because you'd be in there with me. Yeah. And I don't know, I think that you said it perfectly. I could do anything with you. <laughs> it seems so incredibly sappy, like we're just- we, Well, we can go back to the other questions. No, no, no. It just seems like I've heard couples say this before and I've been like, you're bullshitting, <laughs> but I'm like- Yeah. I'm being serious. No, I know. There's yeah. there's a few questions on this list where I'm like, people are going to be like, okay. Yeah, they're going to think that we're BSing. Yeah. Or it's like a conveniently yeah. early kind of thing. Right, right, Like, right. oh, give it time. Oh, honeymoon phase. <laughs> we have a honeymoon life going on, yeah. Sorry. I want to put this in your nostril. That's totally not where my real nose is. Spoiler alert. If you think it's sappy, just leave. <laughs> you clicked on a couple's video. <laughs> what did you expect? How long have you known each other? Four and a half years? Yep. Almost four and a half years? Although I wouldn't say we knew each other four and a half years ago. No. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna keep winking and someone Are will you, get it. You've been winking? Don't wink, you look so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Were you both interested in each other right away or did it take some time? I would say it took some time. I would say it took some time. No, <laughs> we were not interested in each other when no, we met. No, especially on one of those sides. <laughs> we won't say who just yet. I'd say it took about four years to the day. Four years to the day. Accidentally. Yes, exactly to the day. Wow. Freaking weird. Weird. So, with that said, a lot of people wanted to know yeah. what the first impression was that we had of each other. Well, how would you describe it? My first impression of you? Yeah. Um, standoffish. <laughs> uh, um, oh, oh, really? Oh, I'm not done. Oh, there's more. There's more. Great. Uh, you can stop at any moment. Intimidating. Yikes. Just uh, hard to talk to. Yeah. That does describe me at that point in my life, for sure. You didn't seem mean. You no. just seemed unapproachable. I was, I was in my own world, in my own head, for sure. Describe oh, but me. also hot. <laughs> Can I say that? Hold on. Real quick. <laughs> Not interested. Wasn't trying to date or Like, I, I was taken... My brain wasn't there. But objectively, like, that's an attractive, unapproachable man. <laughs> you, I thought, were... your time what was even what was i even thinking i was just maybe like, you weren't maybe there a, was no first impression. i was just a blob informative <laughs> <laughs> the spark was immediate obviously the circumstances were extremely different and you didn't even understand the extent of why i was in my headspace we ended up having like a second first impression of each other yeah and yeah. with that that was four years to the day that time i thought you were extremely vulnerable i thought the same with you oh, was that the first word you would use to describe yes, me? Is that was, why you hit me? yes i was going <laughs> to say vulnerable <laughs> extremely charismatic me yes you were smiling the whole time you were making me smile you were very funny you were very approachable, like the complete opposite of my first impression of you. You were charming. Thank you. You were very cute and charming. Thank you. Yeah. I. That's so funny. I did not think I was being charming. And extremely attractive. Thank but you. we all do that because we've seen her. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is how you're actually supposed to take off a prosthetic. Very, very. slowly is why we can take the time to do this. Okay, so I would say that this is relating to our second first impression. Sure. Someone asked, how did your relationship begin? So, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just, it just hurts a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not too bad. Four years to the day. I don't know how many, I have a whole lot of <laughs> What was that? Mikey shut him down. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say that, but on a whim, I asked him if he wanted to hang out. You just um, randomly messaged me. Yes, I did. 
Perhaps at like 2 a.m. It I was 2 a.m. I wasn't trying to set up one of those. We hung out like it in the afternoon. Yeah, it, multiple days later. In public, so yes. nothing like that. Also, I asked him to hang out because I just wanted to get to know him. I genuinely was not looking to date. Purely platonic, right? At all, very platonic. Yeah, yeah. I had just somewhat recently gotten out of a relationship that took a lot out of me, and I, I wasn't looking to date. So I really just wanted to get to know you and was feeling brave enough to ask. What made you have the confidence to Alcohol. message. Was it? Yes! Yeah, I, I had a, oh. I had a couple of drinks that night. Oh. And I was like, I wonder what <laughs> you're doing in the next few days. Let's find out. Wow. Thank you, alcohol, I guess. Yeah, thanks. I don't drink often, but when I do... No, you don't even drink much. It began as a friendship. It did, yeah. After we hung out that first day, I think I texted you and I said, we should meet up again. And I was like... <laughs> What? Okay. And then you thought that I was just being polite. I did. I thought you were doing the LA thing that's like, right. let's totally hang oh, out again. And then you never do. That's so annoying. I do that though. So. I do that too. <laughs> I feel like the LA thing, it's not that you don't want to actually see these people most of the time. It's just that no. everyone's so busy because yeah, everyone's yeah. career oriented. I had someone ask me to hang out in November. And I literally said, hey, I'm sorry. Can we hang out in January? <laughs> My calendar, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, shit. This isn't going to work for months. No, no. Wait, um, did we answer that question? The funny thing to me, I think our relationship began off of a level of honesty and vulnerability that set us uh, up for such a good foundation because yeah. I genuinely did not think you'd ever be interested in me. <laughs> That's Therefore, so ridiculous. I told him so many things <laughs> I would never tell someone I was interested in because it makes me immediately undateable. No, it was that very same vulnerability and courage that you had to tell me those things that you might not have necessarily told everyone that made me completely endeared to you. I said to him though, if you're going out on dates and getting to know people, you can't just like tell people the thing that I just told you. But if you wait too long to tell someone that, they don't trust you and it's like a big deal and it's a much bigger deal than it ever had to be, even though it's not that serious. And then I said, well, you just told me. And I almost blurted out, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not gonna date you, so that's fine. If you had said that, I would probably be like, oh, oh shit, okay. Well, I, uh, I had the wrong idea, but I mean, I'm down to be friends with you, but. Thank God I didn't say that. Because by the end of that night, you told me you were interested in me. And I was yeah. like, oh. I told you I was extremely attracted to you, but I had my own personal reservations because I had also just come out of a relationship which felt recent, even though I felt like I had done a lot of personal growth at that time. It felt like it was too short of a time span between that relationship and this one. And I didn't want to get caught in any serial monogamous behaviors. So. I was like, maybe I just need to find myself a little bit more. Well, and I did too. We were on the same page. We, we, we've been we on the same did. page. We took it slow. We took it slow. Ish. Ish. <laughs> we're still not in focus. That's really not in focus, though. Aye, aye, aye. All right. We're in focus now. Sorry about the focus thing. I'm trying my best to do all the things. So, how long have we been dating? Unofficially, almost five months. What? Officially, just a little over three months. September 9th, 99, 9919. Right in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. I feel like I have a very cool piercing. This is the proper way to take off prosthetics. Ooh, getting some face in there. What's the dumbest thing you had a fight over? Ooh, this one's really gonna annoy everyone watching. It almost, like, I would be annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> you would exit the video? I would click out of this video like, right now. Oh, okay. Uh, genuinely, the dumbest fight we ever had is no fight because we have yet to fight. We, we haven't have, even so much as bickered. We've never fought. And that sounds like, oh, you guys are just in your honeymoon phase and you're not arguing about stuff because you're not letting things bother you that will eventually bother you or you're just not communicating. But we over communicate and our dialogue that we have about everything, about our feelings, about everything is just so, wow, Ripley, you are heavier than you uh, <laughs> let on. You can never you, say that to me. Sorry, anymore. sorry. You hold your weight well. Uh, <laughs> she's putting all of her weight with one foot right on my cross. Oh, yeah. 11 pounds right on the, yeah. Yeah. Could you not? Right on. Honey, okay. really? 
Uh, See, they're buddies. She likes it. Where were we? Like I said, you're so emotionally intelligent that it's oh, so easy to communicate with you and not you. have it turn into a thing where one of us gets defensive or it no. turns into a thing about insecurity. You know what? There's never been a moment where either of us have been defensive. No. Because I is trust crazy. you. I respect you a lot and I trust your intentions. Which is so weird because in every other relationship I've been in, I've had many, many moments of being defensive. Me too. I've been super defensive before, but I just know how much you respect me and you show me how much you admire me that you don't really give me any reason to feel defensive because I know that's coming from a place of respect. Freedom! Oh, my neck can breathe! Your oh. neck? Your neck was always free. My chin, whatever. <laughs> Same shit. Why have you decided to announce your relationship rather than hiding it? Ooh, do you want to answer that one? Yeah, so for, for me at least, I feel like we weren't planning on talking about it for a while. I think that we're talking about it sooner than we thought we would initially, but it sucks keeping such a big part of your life and especially one that's making you so happy, a complete secret. It's frustrating when you're a YouTuber, if you're going through something that is hard, that is sad, that is stressful or painful, but you don't feel like you can open up to your audience about it. It's so like you feel so bottled up and you just want to explode because it's such an extreme emotion that you have to pretend is not happening when you film your videos actively yeah yeah and on the flip side now i've noticed that it goes both ways <laughs> and if you're super happy and there's something that you feel like you can't talk about you also feel like frustrated and bottled up yeah very similar reason the more people i introduce you to that are part of my life and you know like you meeting my family and everything, like, it feels less like it's just some crazy fantasy that I put together in my head. <laughs> Funny, because my brother asked me over Thanksgiving, he's like, wait, why do you even need to, like, tell anyone while well, she's keeping a secret? I was like, it feels like I'm lying by not saying anything, even though I'm not expected to say something. Just like, I feel like I'm not living my truest self. I wanted to wait a little while, though, because it's just, it's nice to experience some things by yourself for a little while. Getting so comfortable with you without having any public reaction at all makes me realize just how real this is. You look so strange right now. Cause you're starting to look like you, but I still don't see you. If you know who I am, then you know who I am. By the way, some of you did definitely guess <laughs> who you are, but most of you guessed wrong. Yeah. And most of you were like, wait, boyfriend, what? Oh. We only have three questions left, and That's the last it? one's like a throwaway. That's so. it? I'm starting to get into the really obvious questions, yeah. though. Is it teeth? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it doesn't feel right to do the voice with, without the without teeth. Without the teeth? Yeah, it's oh, weird. No. <laughs> Whoa, my teeth look very white now. You sound like you. <laughs> my teeth look very white now. We've been watching Mr. Robot, so he's a... Uh, if any of you watch Mr. Robot, which you should, it's amazing. He keeps doing a Philip Price voice. Consider it done. Shut up. Oh, off the lips. Ooh. 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 We're gonna pop out your eyes real quick. I can see again. It's so nice to finally be able to see again. What's something y'all love about each other's careers? Would you say that it's that we have almost the same career? What, what I tend to enjoy is that it's very relatable. We mm -hmm. can talk to each other about yeah. what we're going through because yeah. we do have pretty much the same uh, career. Uh, <laughs> I've been born. How did you meet? Through a collab. A collab. A collab. We met doing a collab four and a half years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the time, I didn't realize all the stressful things that you were going through. No, I couldn't talk about any of that stuff yet. I have complete empathy now for why you were kind of in your own world. Mm -hmm. So many details, we could never go over them. But also, I think we've grown a lot as people in those mm -hmm. four years. Um, and then the last question is... Yeah? Who is your boyfriend? Should I say or should you say? A raccoon. What is on my... Is the bald cap just still just hanging? Yeah, you know, it's back oh, yeah, here. It's like a little cape. <sighs> this is Anthony, my Hello. boyfriend. God damn it. What? Our first fight. <laughs> you may have seen me on channels such as <laughs> Glam and Gore. Oh, yeah, that's Last right. month. That's right, we did a video together, didn't we? We did do a video. We had to pretend we didn't like each other. We were totally dating already. That was, Sorry. uh, yes. 
We, we weren't lie. out yet. It wasn't even tr that we were trying to trick everyone. No, but we just didn't want that to be the focus. I but, wanted to get yeah. through Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we didn't know what we wanted to do yet and how mm -hmm. we wanted to, like, when we wanted to talk about it. So no. I, I don't think it's real likely. But if you don't know, Anthony also does YouTube. He is, like, the original OG oh. YouTuber. I was not expecting you to go there with that. Sorry, we're going there. <laughs> well, thank you. He's been around for forever. Since, Since before, half of you were probably even alive. Since the dawn of time. The and dawn of YouTube time. That means, yeah, when YouTube was invented in 2005. That's crazy. Yeah. Respect. Really. <laughs> we'll give you a proper outro when he's clean. Doesn't matter. Like Zoro, yeah. and a raccoon, and a Rorschach test all in one. Yes, I look like a Rorschach test. What do you guys see? Let's clean you up all the way. <laughs> we do that right? No, we tried. One, two, three. Why you didn't give me enough build ups? One, two, three. <laughs> that was good. Delirious. Yeah, do that. yeah, so am I. What time is it? 6 40 a.m. <laughs> Straight up sunny outside now. Go slide. Whoa. And if uh, you think that we are the grossest, most sappy couple in the world, you're right. It's like this off camera. Actually, it's worse off camera. We toned it down. It's way, way worse off down. camera. Oh, if you want to see a really cute photo shoot that we did, because we just felt like being really fancy. We take a lot of pictures together, even though we yeah. had no plans on posting them for the longest time. Mm -hmm. The first picture we decided we're gonna post, mm -hmm. we went all out for, so. So go check out our Instagrams. Our handles are at Mikey, <laughs> M-Y-K-I-E, and at Anthony Padilla, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-P-A-D-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Did you stutter on spelling your name? I actually really had to think really hard if I was spelling it right. No, I'm very tired now. We started this at what time? You're drinking Red up. Bull at 7 a.m. after was, staying up on That was the night. joke. Way to make it really overstated. Did we um, cover everything that we need to talk about? Like this video if something totally happened between this shot and the last shot that you didn't see. What? You got a little something on your face oh. there. Um, <laughs> comment down below any questions that we missed that you want answered, I guess. Yeah. Or an open book now, I, well, I, I guess. I guess we'll answer any and everything now. We'll answer anything. Ask us anything AMA. in the comments below. We're dating AMA. No one cares that much. All right, cool. Cool. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>